Hi everyone, it's time for story time. Hope you're enjoying your day. Here's The Pout Pout Fish Goes to School by Deborah Deason. Pictures by Dan Hanna. A long time ago, when Mr. Fish was very small, he headed off to school for the first time of all. With a smooch from his parents and excited for his day, Mr. Fish rushed in, then he lost his way. The big fish around him knew exactly where to go, finding lockers, finding classes in a fast, smart flow. Mr. Fish left behind with his grin sinking thin, finally stopped at a doorway, and he shyly looked in. The class was doing writing, and most everybody knew it. So he tried to print his name, but he just couldn't do it. So he flub flub frowned, making blub blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should forget it. He floated with a frown down the long corridor. Then he sneak peeked a look through another room door. The class was drawing shapes and most everybody knew it. So he tried to make a rhombus, but he just couldn't do it. So he flub flub frowned, making blub blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should four get it. He drifted down the hallway with a doubt, doubt face until he spied another doorway. Maybe this was his place. The class was doing math and most everybody knew it. So he tried long division, but he just couldn't do it. So he flub flub frowned, making blub blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, forget it. He rushed towards the exit. That's enough, I say. School is way too tough and I'm not going to stay. Then a soft, kind voice said, don't you fret. You don't have to know things you haven't learned yet. Your classroom awaits. I'm your teacher, Miss Hewitt, and I'm he I am here to help you learn. And I know that you can do it. You're a fish who is smart. With practice, you will get it. Young fish, you belong. Don't ever forget it. The student and the teacher swam a splish, splash, swish to a door with a sign marked brand new fish. Miss Hewitt said, good morning. I'm excited you're all here. Together we will have a spectacular year. Fact one, you are smart. Fact two, you can get it. Fact three, you belong. So four, don't forget it. The class got to work and Miss Hewitt helped them through it. They listened and they tried and everyone could do it. Mr. Fish gave a grin. Goodbye, blub bubbles. No more doubt, doubt, worry. No more flub, flub troubles. He swam with his class, Miss Hewitt by his side, as the students and their teacher said with confidence and pride. Fact one, we are smart. Fact two, we can get it. Fact three, we belong. And four... We won't forget it. And this is them. It was their class. And they're looking back when they were little. Now they got big and they came back to see each other and be friends again. And here you see the pow pow fish drew a picture of himself. If you have time today and want to make a self portrait like we did in school, you guys could try to make a picture of yourself. Remember, we use mirrors to help us see all the different parts of our face. Have a great day.